the legalist. Look out for those mischief makers. Look out for those amen, who manipulate and yeah, mutilate the flesh. Mm. Now all of these things have to do with changing state. Mm. The Bible says be on your guard for the Judaizers. Judaizers are the legalists. They have you so caught up with the legalism, you are no longer operating in the translucent, in the relating of the spirit. <coughs> when God or the spirit try to move you, your mind is like, whoa, whoa, this is not according to 1.3, 4 point. You're not interested in the life lead of the spirit. Mm -hmm. You have a set of rules you're trying to follow instead. Amen? Mm -hmm. It's it. Look out for the mischief makers. You know, when I was a child, and I, I probably did it too, I had little friends, and we know what not to do, but we go, let's do it anyway. It's so much fun. <laughs> when you get mature, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Mischief makers are those that know it's wrong, but for the sake of fun and agitation and murkiness, you what? You do it. <laughs> the enemy is counting on that too. Amen? Yeah. It's a lookout for the mutilators of the flesh. Verse 3 said, For we Christians are the true circumcised. Now we don't understand how we are circumcised, amen? Who worship God in spirit. We stay in the state that does not alter the translucent goal. A true Christian is one who stay sanctified. You do not alter the glory. A whole lot of legalization do not make you a Christian. It makes you a Judaizer. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to what I'm saying? You are preoccupied with rules that translucentness. <coughs> Amen? The Bible says, worship God by the Spirit of God. And exalt and glory and pride ourselves in Jesus Christ. And put no confidence. Dependent on what we are in the flesh and on outward privilege and physical advantage and external appearance. So all the focus is on the preservation of the glory. We put no emphasis on dependent on the flesh, we totally dependent on God, and on external appearance. All the focus is maintaining the glory the goal you have received and its relatability that you can be the companion of God. So anything trying to change the pure glass-like goal, any dust try to cover it, you wash it off by the word. I you understand what I'm saying? You should always be able to perceive Jesus. And anyone come in contact with you, they should come in contact with God because of the translucent state. Amen. Amen. But the Bible says you have to be on guard that you don't become a legalist. You don't join the rebellion, the mischief maker, and you don't get caught up in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You are circumcised <laughs> to operate in the spirit and circumvent to stay out of the flesh. You're being prevented. But a lot of times to relate to others, you don't mind getting in the flesh. Do you understand? What this do, it will, it will mark you the water. Does that make sense, church? Yes. You have a task to preach the gospel. To heal the sick, to raise the dead, clean the leper, and drive out the demon. You are in relationship and the companion of Jesus. Amen? Amen. You are to stay as a precious stone all the time. The Bible said, be on the lookout for the legalists. They're not interested in staying clean. They're interested in what rules they can establish. Be very on the lookout for mischief maker. They call it, in the world, you know what they call mischief maker? They're, like, they're troublemaker, but in the world they kind of clone it to make it nice. They're fun or they're devils. Oh, yeah. There is Yes, they don't mind. You see, trespass. The Bible says we have no, we don't depend on ourselves. We depend on God. They are, they are, they are individual. They depend on themselves all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to be. You have a lot to lose. Beside the glory He give you, 
you will lose the effectiveness of your ministry. Mm -hmm. The work deals with ministry. Administrative. Mm -hmm. Whether you're preaching the gospel, that's ministry. Mm -hmm. Whether you're healing the sick, that is ministry. Mm -hmm. Whether you're raising the dead or cleaning the leper mm -hmm. or driving a demon, that is mm -hmm. ministry. Mm -hmm. It will affect your ministry. Whether you're stopping the barrenness or the bereavement or the death or the miscarriage, that is ministry. Mm -hmm. But your state come before ministry. Mm -hmm. Every time we violate the state, we start to affect the work of God. This is why we are very guarded. Amen? Amen. This is why. So, you know, it's the same thing as we were talking about. The Wednesday message was, you know, you have to watch your state. Mm -hmm. And because we know the flesh is excessive, so it's never in a self-controlled state, never in a balanced state. Yeah. And without that balanced state, you can't see the oneness. Correct. Or, in this case, we're talking about the work, but... Either case, it's the work. Yes. The work is to see the work yes. promote the oneness. Yes. Once you're falling into the insatiating mm -hmm. ways of the flesh, it blinds you. It you understand you're in the right state. You're always in the wrong state. You're well, always it's, it's like a drunk person. You can't walk perfect. Down. You can never walk perfect. straight. So the Bible said, watch out for it. Watch out for it. You're emotional. You're angry. You're lustful. You're you're fearful. You're, this is never in the right yes. place to focus on the faith. It's the perfect soul. Perfect. Yeah. This is why the scripture says, see one of the things I, I don't believe something we the church do very well. We do not understand the translucentness and the importance of maintaining the pure gold. You didn't become pure gold on your own or you didn't create it. It was given to you. So you can be the companion. When John saw you understand? Jesus in Revelation is in glory. You didn't create glory. It was given to you. But you ought to not lose it or make it become opaque. In essence, do not let... The Bible says the goal was clear and trans, transparent. Meaning, nothing other than gold was what? In it or of it. You must not let anything, you understand, mix with the glory of God become of it or in it. That is our call. Then I promise you, we are effective in our ministry. We are very effective in our ministry then. Mm -hmm. But it's the loosey-goosiness. Mm -hmm. And it stopped the Lord having to discipline us all the time for lack of sanctification. A amen? And, and, and disobedience. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, why you don't want to go, why you're being disobedient, mm -hmm. is because you have been marked by something that's drawing you away. Yeah. So if you will do what he wants, it's stopping you from doing something of fleshy or something. <coughs> yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We're going to take up communion and, and then um, tithing and then communion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. This brings the conclusion to call to be solved. Know the task. Go back if you miss it, 2 Kings 2, read from 19 to 22, that's your prayer. You understand? Read Matthew 13, 7 and 8. Amen. Preach the gospel. Amen. Heal the sick, raise the dead. Clean the leper, drive out the demon. Lord, how to stay translucent. The Bible said it is transparent like glass. See through. Amen. Now you can come to the enemy, going to try to make you murky. But you are to be watchful. Hallelujah. As usual, we want to thank all of those that Watch us on YouTube and the net. We thank God for your life. We trust the word bless you today and administer to your spirit and your also. And that you will learn to be focused on the work to stop all the bereavement wheresoever you are in your locality. All the death and the miscarriage. Amen. And all the barrenness will come to an end in the name of Jesus. And we want to join our faith with you as you take on this task, not in your own strength but through the glory of God that we receive in Jesus. The Bible said in Colossians 1, 26 and 27, Amen, the hope of God, which is glory within us. Hallelujah. So we thank God for this in the name of Jesus. And anyone who has not received the Lord yet, we want to invite you right now to receive the Lord. If wherever you are, 
you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God and God raised him from the dead and he's the Lord and the Christ, then you shall be saved and saved to the uttermost. And he shall sanctify you, removing all the opaque and murkiness away from you, that you can be transparent, as clear as glass, translucent, moving and standing in the glory, living an effective life for the kingdom, a companion of Jesus, washed by the precious water, even more precious than the water of Bethlehem. To God be the glory in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. I don't know what each one is you have to do, but I know you have to do what is necessary. The Spirit of God will have to teach you. For me, if I don't commune several times a week, I start to feel I'm becoming okay. That's just how maybe some of you are just better than me. You never lose. I am very clear I don't lose you. So what I start to lose is communion. So I have to commune quite a bit to make sure that I don't experience no murky or opaque effect. That's just me. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to find a way that you can be, live, and walk in the spirit, and you have to learn to guard against opaque. Amen. That is just one of the things I know. As I said, if I eat too much, the same thing will happen. Make sense? If I'm too tired. I experience the same thing. Mm -hmm. So after a while you learn some principles that has to, you never use union. Once you belong to Christ, you have it. But maintaining communication, that's a whole different story. And you have to find what that is. Make sense? And so forth. You know, um, if I don't, I, but I'm never really out of there. If I don't listen to word or whatever, whether it's true music or reading or felt, again, I'm always reading. I'll start to feel like I'm getting a little murky. Yeah. Like, like I'm not sharp and clear as I ought to be. So you have to learn these principles and then ask the Lord for grace to abide in them. To abide in them. Amen. Jesus, every morning he pulled away. He had his way of maintaining no pit yet between him and the broad place. Where we ought to be standing, the Bible says, at the broad place, it's called the walkway before the throne. Amen. You have to be standing there. And to be standing there, you have to come with clean feet. Please get that clear. That's where we study John 13, 10. Mm -hmm. You cannot go to a fellowship with the Lord if your foot are not clean. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you have to be at the broad place and learn how to keep yourself from becoming, um, you know, opaque in any way from working. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for letting us participate in your communion. This bread we know, as Brother Child just read, it is your one body that we all, no matter how numerous we are, we participate, participate in the same one body. And Father, and the cup is the same cup that brought us forgiveness and brought us into right standing, right relationship. Symbol, symbolic of your blood, Father, and this bread symbolic of your body. We know no matter how many names we give it of different denomination or group, we are of one body. Amen. And we all receive the one spirit. We all stand in the one hope. And you are the one Lord, Father. And that given the name far above any that can be come for, Father. And we all have faith in you and you alone as the Messiah, the Son of God, the resurrected, unique Son of God. And we all were entered into the one baptism. And Father, we know you are the one Father and one God of us all. So we are so grateful you let us participate in the oneness through the one communion. May this communion be pleasing and acceptable unto you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. In your spirit, you are to always be in the broad walkway. But unfortunately, we live in the world where we get dust. That's why we have to wash our feet. In the kingdom age, we don't need to wash your feet because everything will be purified. Once you accept Christ, you are baptized. This is why we go through the water baptism that your whole body. But we still have to move around this world. In the spirit, we can appear before the throne of God. Amen. And we are in the walkway. But once we are in the world, we're getting dirty all the time. So we have to keep being sanctified all the time. Amen. Let's eat of his one body. Though no matter how numerous we are, we all share the same body that was broken, that we are healed and made whole. Oh, yes. Let's see. And likewise, with due appreciation, we drink of the one cup 
of forgiveness and reconciliation and covenant with God with due appreciation. Let's drink. Thank you.